Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. It's been a pretty cloudy start to the day. Should continue to stay that way here as we go throughout the rest of our Wednesday afternoon. Live look from our York Skycam, and right now we definitely see in those clouds across the area. Pretty overcast looking. 42 degrees in the White Rose City at this point. Uh, winds, light breeze, less than 5 miles per hour for the most part, but knocking a few degrees off of the air temperature, feeling more like 39 at this hour. A lot of spots in the uh, low to mid 40s at this time. 43 in Lancaster. It's also the same story in and around Harrisburg and Carlisle. 45 in Gettysburg. Still a little chillier up north in Sealands Grove at 40 degrees and Lewistown still holding on to just a couple of degrees above the freezing mark. And as we turn to the satellite and radar picture, not a whole lot of hope here to see sunshine today. In fact, we'll be locked into these clouds. It looks like through the majority of your Wednesday. Then we'll see the um, little bit in the way of possibly some drizzle, maybe a couple of rain or snow showers developing late this evening. We're already seeing a few of those up to the north and west of us near State College up in the high terrain spot. So we'll watch for that. Doesn't look like it's going to cause us any issues, but it is something to look for here as we head later into this evening and tonight. In the bigger picture, there is a storm system that's going to be a pretty close call for us, but looks like mainly a miss with some rainfall later on tonight. This is going to move just to our south, but still we could be on the northern edge of it and maybe some uh, patchy areas of drizzle or some light rain or snow showers late tonight. So today mostly cloudy staying cool. Highs will top out in the low to mid 40s and then we'll drop back down tonight only to about the mid 30s. So not much of a drop, but uh, that's because of the cloud cover around. Could be a few uh, rain or snow showers. Again, not going to cause us any issues here. More likely to see a few snowflakes mixing in in those northern counties. That'll take us into tomorrow and it looks like it'll start off somewhat cloudy, kind of like what we're seeing right now. A couple of uh, showers around the region in the early morning hours. Then the skies will gradually clear. We'll get some sunshine down to the ground. Looks like by late morning tomorrow and then the brisk winds pick up winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour, keeping those highs in check in the low to mid 40s. Here's the uh, look across the really uh, across the North America and heading down into Mexico too. We do have that tip, typical and classic El Nino flow coming all the way down from the equatorial Pacific, and this is sliding all the way into the uh, eastern parts of the United States. Now, this can tend to create some big winter storms, but in this case, not going to happen here because the Arctic jet way up in Canada, usually that has to drop down, pick up this moisture and cause all sorts of havoc to really see those winter storms. This is just going to provide a lot of moisture that just slides on by to our south here along that uh, southern jet stream. And we'll watch for that here over the next 24 hours before things start to quiet down once again. So here's a look at predictor going through the rest of this uh, afternoon into this evening. We keep the clouds around some spotty areas of drizzle and a few snowflakes too, trying to mix in overnight tonight. There goes that system zipping by and by the time we wake up tomorrow morning again cloud cover, but it's short lived. I think we get into sunshine as high pressure builds in for us later into tomorrow should set up to be a somewhat uh, quieter Friday and then we'll head into the afternoon hours as high slides off to the east of us and here comes our next chance of rain. This is going to be timed. It looks like for the weekend and starting on Saturday we'll see uh, once again tracking those rain chances. So again next couple of days somewhat quiet, but it could see a little bit in the way of precipitation here in the form of some rain or snow showers. Then the chance of rain returns on Saturday. Mild for Sunday, increasing clouds once again on Monday. And then we head into next week with another chance of <laughs> rain. And you know what? The farm show starts on Saturday. So in true typical farm show fashion, we've got to start it off with some type of storm some system. Some kind right? of precipitation, yeah, right? It looks like we'll get some rain, I think, as we go into Saturday. All right. So the rain trend continues. Yeah, it will be. For All us. right. Thanks. Mm -hmm.